Hey there friends, welcome back to the channel, my name is Andy and uh, today we are checking out something quite special that I wanted uh, to let you know about. Um, but before that, please like, comment and subscribe to the video, it would mean a lot. Um, so uh, I was browsing the um, Steam store the other night and I saw that a new car game had come out called Inertial Drift and this is, this is it, this is Inertial Drift. It's a really cute and uh i dare say small you know in comparison to the larger uh car games out there like uh, gran turismo it's a fairly small um but pungent uh drifter car game basically there is a story mode where you get to play as uh, one of these characters here um it's basically an easy uh, medium or hard mode i believe uh where you get to test out uh, different cars uh, kind of get the feel of them and it's all about driving fast and drifting slowing down as uh, rarely as possible but of course if you have to you got to do it some um but the amazing thing about this game is that it just feels so dang right like every turn that you manage to drift every sharp corner every t every time you get to simply go really really fast it feels completely right now i think the last time i felt this way was with um a ridge racer many many years ago but the incredibly cool thing about inertial drift is that it's just so simple yet hard to master basically all you need to relate yourself to is the back button so for example, if you're playing with a PlayStation controller, uh, you use L2 and R2 to either back up or move forward, and the left and right stick. So the left stick controls your sort of uh, going left or right, while the uh, right stick controls your drifting. And if you, for example, move both in the same direction, you will drift more violently. <laughs> um, and every sound is just on point. There's the screeching of the hard drift. There's the engine room when you go fast. Um, and just learning this is fairly simple, I'd say. It's the mastering that's hard. And that is just awesome, uh, especially when considering that every car in the game um, is built differently. Uh, let's call it the easier cars that I began with has a medium top speed and acceleration uh, but it's easier to uh, sort of let's call it predict when you when you have to begin drifting other cars will either drift uh, really slowly so so that you'll have to begin the drift um, much earlier while others again won't drift at all unless you break the um, the car down uh, or, I guess I mean, um, stop going fast. <laughs> uh, and the car simply almost, like, switches around. Um, and this is where the whole learning thing uh, comes in. And I think you can have a lot of fun in this game. Uh, the environments, too, although they are not, com like, insanely varied and a ton of them, the ones that are here are definitely gorgeous and they kind of give you that 80 sometimes tokyo vibe uh, you've definitely seen some of this in a lo-fi or <laughs> retro wave uh video somewhere it's just gorgeous there's a lot of red uh, hue and sort of you know lights uh, there's the blue um there's just the lights on the road the the, the sort of blur effects it's all gorgeous and i commend the um the visual artists on this game um, and yeah, so, so like this is uh, Inertial Drift. It's a tiny game that you can have a lot of uh, fun with. So I definitely recommend checking it out. It even has a story mode, a challenge mode, an arcade, uh, an online feature, and also a split screen. So if you connect to controllers, you can have some fun with your one friend <laughs> or something. So yeah, uh, I highly recommend checking this, uh, this tiny marvel out. 
uh, it's definitely a lot more than it uh, might look like. So yeah, check it out. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time as well. If you want to see more, I decided to just uh, add on a complete uh, race that I took here. And uh, this race should take you about uh, four to five minutes. Um, so yeah, enjoy guys.